He's he's coming, or is he already here? Warning: This video will contain spoilers up to chapter one thousand and thirty-seven. You've been warned. Hello, my Nakamotachi. This is Joy Girl, and the thumbnail should be pretty self-explanatory. But as it suggests, this discussion is going to center around the possibility of Blackbeard coming to Wano, and this is something that's been on my head as a result of the last chapter, the last couple of panels from chapter one thousand and thirty-seven. Because as we saw, the Gorose were talking about one special, one specific devil fruit, one that is so important that the world government changed its name and is actually even considered by the Gorose themselves to be a legend. And of course, this has sparked a huge scramble in the fanbase with many of us trying to figure out which devil fruit is the one that they're talking about. And I've been really trying to get through all of the comments because I've been loving reading all of your thoughts. There are just so many different possibilities and it's been fun trying to see us all try to piece things together based on what little information that we have, little clues that Oda might have provided us. Because of the way that the panels were organized, the fact that the world government's dialogue was seen on a panel where we see Zunisha, this has obviously raised a lot of speculation that the devil fruit will be connected to Zunisha in some way and a popular theory seems to be Zunisha herself being the devil fruit consumer and you know this could have been potentially hinted to us from as early as Ennis Lobby where we saw Funk Freed or even Mr. Four the fact that we know that objects can fuse by eating Zoe and devil fruits and like I said there are just so many different possibilities but I think that regardless of which devil fruit is the one in question I think something that we could all agree on is the fact that this development now seems to point further to the possibility of Blackbeard actually coming to Wano. Now this idea has been one that's been going around for quite a while now and I think the last chapter only further strengthens this possibility. There have just been so many potential clues or hints that suggest that Blackbeard could be making his way to Wano. And now the fact that this all concerns a devil fruit, I think we can make a stronger connection to Blackbeard's character. For one, Blackbeard has almost become synonymous with devil fruits. We know that he's been on the hunt for strong devil fruits so that he can arm his 10 titanic captains and the rest of his crew possibly. We saw this in Dressrosa and then more recently during the interlude between the Axe and Wano with Absalom's power being given to Shiryu. And then if we're thinking about seeing Blackbeard during those act intermissions, we also have chapter 956 where Blackbeard said, if the Navy, if the world government's going to take it, then I may as well claim the prize. And now that it seems like the world government, the Gorosei, are interested in one special, one specific devil fruit, it could make sense that this is the prize that Blackbeard was talking about. And of course, one of the main reasons why Blackbeard has now become so closely connected to Devil Fruits is the fact that he is the only character that we know in the series to be able to consume more than one Devil Fruit. And as of right now, he only has the Yami Yami no Mi and the Gura Gura no Mi. But the idea of him actually obtaining a third Devil Fruit has been a really popular idea in the series for so long. And I'm sure a lot of you already know what I'm talking about. But Blackbeard has a very obvious theme of the number three. We see it in the skulls of his Jolly Roger. He has three skulls and in chapter 925 the earlier intermission between the Wano acts we see Blackbeard being being surrounded by some of his crewmates sort of his groupies or his entourage and there are three of them and the fact that he currently has two devil fruits one being a paramecia and the other being the logia it's been theorized that the one that he's after now is Kaido's devil fruit as probably you know the ultimate Zoan devil fruit you could have a dragon a mythical Zoan devil fruit but following the dialogue in the last chapter I think it now raises questions as to which devil fruit Blackbeard would be after. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that once upon a time, I once said that Blackbeard actually could take Tama's devil fruit, the Kibi Kibi no Mi. And you can feel free to check that video out if you'd like, but I will have to warn you guys that that video is now quite old, uh, still made during my early days of figuring out how to use the camera. We have a crinkly green screen, so at the least, maybe you can just check it out for the laughs and just to see the growth of the channel. But in that video, I did talk about the possibility of Tama's Devil Fruit being a lot more special, being a lot more important than we realize. I mean, even the fact that an eight-year-old child living on the outskirts of town has a devil fruit at all is quite suspicious. But it is also an overwhelmingly powerful devil fruit, and we've seen that through this arc. And the reason why I said back then that Blackbeard could be coming and could take Tama's devil fruit was that by using the Kibi Kibi no Mi, Blackbeard could build an army of Zoans. And given that Luffy has a grand fleet, and the fact that Blackbeard and Luffy are 
inevitably ultimately going to match up, going to face each other at some point in the story, whether he be the final villain or whether he be the villain just before Luffy fights the world government. It would be really interesting to see both captains have fleets of their own. And with Luffy's grand fleet incorporating so many different powerful individuals, even including the new giant warrior pirates, Blackbeard commanding an army of Zoans could really nicely even out the match against Luffy and his grand fleet. And now I'm not saying that it is necessarily the Kibi Kibi no Mi that the Gorosei were talking about, but it is seeming to become more and more relevant in my mind, especially thinking about the possibility of Blackbeard coming to Wano. And even if it isn't the Kibi Kibi no Mi, I really still do think that the idea of Blackbeard coming to Wano is becoming even more and more likely. And given that this thought has been spurred on by a conversation between the Gorosei, another connection that could be made is obviously through another conversation that we saw recently between the Gorosei and Shane. And in that panel, we saw that Shanks had come, requested a meeting with the Gorosei to talk about a particular individual. And for a long time, most people have taken that to refer to Blackbeard. So I don't know, I think a lot of these would line up really well together and even poses some more really interesting discussions and possibilities for the future development of the series. Because I do want to clarify that even if Blackbeard does come to Wano, I don't necessarily think that he's going to face off with Luffy. I think that's a matchup that's definitely going to be saved off for later. I don't think Blackbeard came to fight Luffy. I don't think he came to fight the world government for that matter. What we know of Blackbeard already is that he's not just a reckless individual. He's bold for sure, but he doesn't just make uncalculated risks. He doesn't just act based on emotions and pure desire, he is quite a meticulous individual. He has plans, I think, outside of Luffy greater than just meeting Luffy in Wano, which is the idea of him taking a devil fruit that could help him build an army is so interesting because it would signify his greater plans for himself and how he's going to achieve whatever grand plan that he has. So if Blackbeard does come to take a devil fruit here at Wano, I don't think it's going to be a super long drawn out battle after Luffy fighting Kaido. It would just make no sense for Luffy to have to go into another battle. So this could actually play itself out that the world government now has their hands full in having to deal with Blackbeard, or it could even work out so that that's how we see Shanks come back into the story. Shanks always seems to be one step ahead, and like we said, he went to the Gorosei to warn them about one individual, the most likely candidate being Blackbeard. So it would come real full circle if that's how Shanks made his way back into the story by stopping Blackbeard, and then it would be a really nice parallel to Marineford. And and this could even be what Oda was hinting, was teasing us with in his Jump Festa message for 2022, where he said, you know, the possibility of Shanks and Luffy meeting. I mean, it was most likely that his message concerned Film Red, which is obviously coming out this year. But I think it's actually possible that we will see Shanks in the series before Film Red comes out as extra hype for the movie. And how cool would it be if all of those things lined up together in preparation for, you know, the future of the series, but also to hype us up for the movie. So I don't think Blackbeard coming to Wano will necessarily mean that he's another villain that Luffy and the Straw Hats have to defeat. I know that a link could be made to the interview with Tatsuya Nagamine, the anime director at Toei. And for those of you who don't know, during a Funimation watch party, they included an interview with the director and he gave us a potential spoiler because one of the comments that he made was that there could be a big villain after Kaido. And I've made a video on that as well. But I don't think that even if Blackbeard shows up that he'll be a big villain he'll be a final villain that Luffy has to face per se. But I do really think that him coming to Wano is now quite likely. It was a possibility even before the last chapter, the fact that we kept cutting to him in each of the intermissions cut in between the Wano acts, and now added with the fact that we're seeing the Gorosei, and then also them mentioning a devil fruit, knowing that Blackbeard said that he's going to claim the prize that the world government wants. I don't know, I think this is all just really coming together, especially with Wano now wrapping up but also leading on to so many big mystery, so many big developments so that we're really catapulting towards those final arcs. If I didn't fully believe it before, I think it's now becoming more and more likely that Blackbeard is actually going to come to Wano. But that's just where my head's been at. I'd be interested in reading whether you guys feel the same way, so let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video, and please do subscribe if you'd like more One Piece discussions because there are just so many things going on.
going on right now. And of course, there's a chapter break. But also, you can also join our Joy Fleet Discord server for more One Piece related fun. And you can also become a Patreon member. And thank you to all of our patrons who help support the channel. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.